Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. So today we've got Sephora Savings Event Haul to try on. Let's go. But before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And if you are new, I would love for you to click that subscribe button and join the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And let's get right into this video. So first, really quick, I want to say I'm so sorry it's taken me a, a while to get this video up. Very long story short, I got hit with a very severe case of tonsillitis that I am still kind of recovering over um but i was down for a very long time so that is why it's taking me a while to get this video up but i got this video up like a day and a half before the support savings event ended because guys we got some gems in this video okay and i think there's some things in here you might want to be adding to cart if you're like me and you're like i gotta get in one last order because it's like fomo before the savings event ends. Okay, so let's get into it. So first I started off with the Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin Cream Contour and Highlighting Sculpting Palette. This was on my wish list video and I'm so grateful because Makeup Forever actually sent this to me. So thank you so much to the brand for sending it to me. Um, I have their HD this is the palette this is all in one face palette they sent this to me as well months ago and i love it okay this is such a great like easy travel friendly literally foundation concealer blush highlighter bronzer all in one palette right this is no longer on sephora and i'm so upset about it because i would highly recommend it to you i would still recommend it you would just have to go to makeup forever's website to get it but this new sculpting and highlighting palette is on Sephora's website. So just to give you an insight of to what this is, this is an easy to use cream face palette with all you need to conceal, contour, highlight, and underpaint like a pro for a flawless sculpted look. So it has six shades to conceal or even out your skin tone. So on this side of the palette, you have what they call their six unifying shades. So these shades right here, you can use to find your foundation shade and you can mix shades to get your foundation shade and mix shades to get your concealer shade. Now, looking at this palette, obviously this is not going to be one that's gonna be, if I can say the most all-inclusive, but from my experience with working with both of the palettes that I showed you, you really can mix and match to get a tone that is complimentary to you even if it's just for concealer now let me just go ahead and put that out there for those of you who have who've already spotted it i did not do the best job today of getting a shade deep enough for this area along my jawline so it does look a little light um and i figured out my mistake and i didn't put this on camera but i'll explain it to you once i get there um but i now know what to do moving forward so we won't be looking as you know a little ghostly around this area of my face then you have two contouring shades right here this shade is a true contour shade but i've already mixed in this shade so that's why it looks a little more warm but it is a true contour shade and then you have four um highlighter shades so very quickly because i don't want to spend too much time on this but number one i love it highly recommend it straight out of the gate this is also an all-in-one face palette for me in terms of my foundation concealer bronzer and highlighter so i started off with using this shade right here um and i'm not going to swatch them because you're seeing them in the demo but i use this shade for my under eye area and this was a really great brightening shade i think next time i go in with this palette i might go in and mix a little bit of these two shades together because once I was done, I was like, this is a little too bright for the look I want today. Now, if I wanted something like ultra glam chiseled and like I really wanted to sculpt the face, I would stick with this shade here. But I didn't want that so much today, so you'll see what I did to kind of tone down this shade. And then for all over my face, I went in with this shade. Like I said, this shade's a little deeper because I mixed in this shade later on to kind of tone down the lightness here. Um, but I did use this shade all over the face to kind of even out my skin tone. And if you love the Makeup Forever HD liquid foundation formula, you're going to love this formula here. It's a cream formula, but it's still really pretty. Photographs amazingly, blends effortlessly. And as you saw, 
I was able to blend out a lot of these products with my fingers. I did go in with the brush, but I was able to get a lot of like that initial blend with just my fingers. So it's a very creamy formula, but it's not too emollient to where it won't stay on the skin. And then um, for bronzer, I mixed these two shades together because I didn't want my bronzer to be, I didn't want to really contour. So I didn't want to just go in with this shade here. So I mixed these two shades for my bronzer and I was like, okay, it actually came out a little more red than I thought it was going to be. So, um, but that was fine because I was like, I knew I was going to put a bronzer on top, but I was just like, okay, I thought it was going to be more neutral, but it was a little more, a little more red, a little more warm, I should say, not red, but a little more warm than I thought it was going to be. And then for the highlight, I chose this gold shade here. And when I went in with my brush initially, I felt like I didn't really see anything, but I went in with my finger and that's when I saw the highlight and I thought it was beautiful. Um, so what I did at the end of the video, at the end of the video, what I did when I was done my face, I took some video footage and I was like, man, I look really ghostly around here. So I took this shade, these two shades here and I mixed them together and I blended it all along here. And I feel like we were able to kind of like ground the jawline a bit to where it doesn't look so stark. So next time I go in with this palette, I'll just mix these two shades to actually get my actual complexion shade. And I think that will work really, really great. Um, this is amazing. I absolutely love this palette, highly recommend it. And I am a makeup artist, but I do think this is a palette that if you are not a makeup artist, but you're okay with mixing shades together, you would really enjoy it. Especially if you're looking for just an all-in-one great travel palette. Look how compact and like cute and small it is. Really, really convenient and highly recommend it. I think it is worth the buy. So hands down, absolutely love that palette. And if you're looking at it, I think you will enjoy it. It's got five stars already on Sephora and I'm not surprised. Okay, so after that, I wanted to go in with an eyeshadow palette by Mother Pet. Now, I thought I ordered this and then when my bronzer showed up, I was like, maybe I didn't order it. And what happened was it just came in a separate box a whole week later. Okay, but it's okay because this is available at Sephora. So this is her... Divine Bronze Luxe Quad and called and it's called Venusian Sunrise. So initially I wasn't gonna get this eyeshadow palette. I was like, I don't need it. It's beautiful, but like I don't need it, right? Then I saw Reddy Vasquez use this palette, and let me tell you the shade that sold it for me. This shade right here looked so wet. And like a sunrise all on its own. And I love it's that fairy dust formula that I love. I'm gonna swatch this because oh my goodness me this was the shade that made me add it to cart L look at her and i was like summer's coming up this shade right here is what did it for me however i'm very pleased to say that all of the shades in the palette do perform very beautifully and the mattes are great so I went in with this shade first blended that all over the eye then took this shade and i just tapped tap tap because i wanted it to be just like fairy dust y'all know i love that phrase when it comes to these types of like eyeshadows that don't have so much of a base but they have enough base to stand on their own but they really just add like flecks of light to the eye and i love how wet this shadow looks on the eye like i'll come in close so you can see it it's so beautiful so beautiful and then for the under eye i went in with this shade here it has more of like a reddish brownish hue to it and i just used that to smoke out the lower lash line kind of dragged it out on the sides to give me like a faux liner and y'all y'all know i usually don't do a uh under a, a brow bone highlight but i went in with this shade with a little brow bone highlight little razzle dazzle to the brows and i was like look at that a whole eye look and this is beautiful like this is really beautiful. So I'm going to say this is a good one. This is a good one. And I think this is also great because you've got great neutral shades that you can use all the time. You can mix and match these shades however you would like to do them. And I like that you can like go kind of deep and vampy and smoky with this eye look 
or with this eye palette or you can make it a very simple everyday look like if you just wanted to take these two shades here and that's what you wore to work beautiful or you could do these two shades here or you could do those two shades like you do have a little bit of versatility with this palette so i don't think it's going to be one of those palettes that you buy and you're just like why did i buy it i'm not really going to use this this is one that I think you would most definitely use. Like for me, I know I'm gonna be traveling with this, especially if it's gonna be like a short weekend where I'm not gonna to need to be doing like the most with my eyes, but I want some really impactful and beautiful and easy to work with shades. That's what this palette does. And I'm very glad that I got it. So I would recommend this one too. Look at this eye look. So pretty, okay. Threw on some lashes, um, Velour Beauty lashes. I love their lashes. They're also sold at Sephora. This style is sassy but classy. So we get like nice little drama, but not too much. You can still see my eye look, but you can definitely see a nice lifted lash with these lashes. So highly recommend their lashes. Very comfortable to wear. And I like the drama that a lot of them give. It's not too much drama, um, but you can go quite voluminous if you want to as well so there's some of my favorite lashes at sephora hands down recommend them okay then we moved on oh, this was the palette that while i was sick i was like please get better so we could just really demo this one palette because i hadn't used it and i was so intrigued by it which is why i bought it the sephora collection micro smooth face palette okay this is the deeper one there is a lighter one the deeper one is in the shade captivate so i want to swatch all four of these shades for you so you can see them swatched and then you can also see them on my face because i wasn't able to use every shade in here but we used three out of the four so that's good so first of all let's talk about this pigmentation i mean these things these these things are so pigmented and i was not ready i swatched these in my first haul and i should have remembered the pigmentation there but i didn't so i first went in with this shade here this is a bronzer shade well it's, it's marketed as a bronzer shade right here and i would say on my complexion this is a bronzer blush shade so i was like okay this is quite this is this was definitely leaning a little more warm little reddish against my complexion and i was just like okay i can make this work as a bronzer for sure but this is not like this wouldn't be my go-to bronzer okay and as as i'm getting into the video you'll all see it was not my go-to bronzer um because i added another bronzer but i think it did a really good job bronzing the skin and depending on your undertone i think if you do have a warmer undertone this will work really nicely as a bronzer if you like more neutral toned bronzers this may not be your choice of bronzer this might just be another blush for you or like i said you use it as a bronzer, but you might go in with another bronzer to like give you the look that you want. However, I really did like it. It bronzed up the skin beautifully, extra pigmented. Like I was like, let me back this off. I actually went in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder and toned down the bronzer across my forehead because I was like, I kind of went ham. And I also forgot to tell you all, y'all probably already saw it in the demo, but to tone down that under eye brightness, I went in with this Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder in the shade 3.0 Golden Beige. Now, typically, I don't use this under the eyes because it does tone down my under eye brightness, but that's kind of what I wanted today. So that's what I used to tone down that brightness from the concealer that we used today. And I liked how it toned it down um, to give me more of what I was looking for today. Okay, so then I went in with the Giorgio Armani blush okay so this is the shade 03 and I wanted to go in with this more like coral peachy coral peachy orangey shade right I did pick up another one by the way I could not I wanted the hot pink one and I was like no you have to, you have too many blushes like that and then I was like I'm not gonna get it I'm gonna be good and get one and then I did go back and buy the bright pink one. So that's not here yet, but it's coming. Okay, so went in with this one. And the pigmentation is beautiful. This blended out very effortlessly on my complexion. And I was actually shocked with the pigmentation because my friend um, 
Sense Array, she's a creator, beauty creator. Her name is Enamored Beauty. She purchased one of these, and I forgot the shade that she got, but I think she got one of the deepest shades. And she said that it really didn't show up on her, that the pigmentation wasn't there, and she was disappointed by it. So, I would say with these blushes, like when I was applying this blush, I was like, okay, this is showing up really nicely against my complexion. And I think this would also show up on a few shades deeper than me. But I was thinking about my mom, who's a really rich, beautiful, chocolate complected woman. And I was like, yeah, this wouldn't show up on my mom. So with that being said, I would say that you might have to try them for yourself and figure out what shades will work for you. Because in, in this particular shade, I would say, I definitely think if you are a nice tan, like tan rich complexion, I think you could wear this particular shade and be good with it because the pigmentation was quite intense um, against my complexion. And I didn't dip my brush in it a whole lot um, before I applied it to the cheeks. So I do think that these have some good pigmentation, but they are not going to potentially be deep enough for deeper, richer complexions. Um, so I would put that out there and I will try to link her um, Instagram video where she does demo it. Um, so you can see it gets, so you can see her complexion and the shade that she uh, purchased and you can kind of get a feel for how it looked against her skin. We didn't get the same shade, so she got a deeper shade than the shade that I used today. But I was really happy with how it showed up against my complexion. It blended really effortlessly into my skin and I was very happy with it. So I'm actually glad I did pick up another one because I think this one blended really, really nicely against my skin. Now, I wasn't able to use the Dior blush today um, but I will swatch both of them just to see if there's, you know, any similarity. So this is the Coral Blush by Dior. I remember swatching this in my first haul and we couldn't really see it too much. So I'm going to try to get like a really good swatch here. Okay, so here's the Dior Blush. Now let's swatch Armani just so if you're interested in what they look like compared to each other. And you can see that they are different in terms of their tones. Dior looks a little more light, uh, a little more bright than the Armani one. Um, but obviously, you know, blushes look different on the cheeks as well. So I'm gonna definitely be using the Dior one in an upcoming video. But I wanted to use more of this Micro Smooth Face Palette. So I went in with this shade here along the cheeks. And I do want to apply some more because I feel like I toned, I toned it down. I toned it down because I was looking a little clownish. So this shade, like look at that one tap into the palette. And look, look at the pigmentation. I mean, pigment did not come to play, okay? did not come to play so highly recommend this and yo with 30 percent off this was 20 dollars 30 percent off 14 dollars okay for this amazing like cannot beat these products beautiful baked formula blends effortlessly highly pigmented so then for highlight i wanted to try the iconic roller highlighter um, on my face so this is in peach paradise so you saw me apply it directly onto the skin i had powdered my face too and i blended it out beautifully and it's so beautiful it's a beautiful like subtle but not so subtle highlighter like you can definitely apply more to get a more beaming highlight but this is so beautiful i i don't know if it's just the rollerball for me <laughs> i don't know but the highlighter is so pretty and I thought it was great, like I said, for those days when you want, you know, maybe a subtle highlighter, if you just wanna use it as a base for another highlighter. But I'm very happy with this and I highly recommend it. They have three shades in this particular one, I believe. And then I wanted to top it with the highlighter in this palette because I was like, I wanna use it. And I mean, highlighter came to slay. I went in with the light hand at that point because by that point I was like, okay, this is about to be 
very, very highlight, very pigmented. So I added it along here and then a little bit here and down the T-zone. Loved how everything came together with this palette. So I would say this, this palette is gonna work really great, in my opinion, for medium tan to, I would say, deeper complexions but getting into the deeper complexions you're really going to be relying on these three shades here i'm not sure if this shade will do much for a deeper complexion um maybe 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 ever so maybe a subtle blush maybe don't hold me to it um, but I think with the pigmentation that we get with these three shadows, deeper complexions could wear it, really enjoy it. So I think this is a great one to pick up. Great for travel. And like I said, for $14, the quality pigmentation can't be beat. Can't be beat, okay? I totally forgot what I started with. The Sash Dream Beam um, Sunscreen SPF. 40, really quick, I put this on before my foundation because this is a SPF sunscreen, but you can also use it as a primer, and I think it worked really well under my makeup. Um, I've worn this a few times. It's really beautiful, no flashback. Blends really great into the skin, so I think this will work for any complexion out there, and it feels like a lotion. It doesn't feel thick and greasy like a sunscreen and i really really like this the brand did send this one to me so i'm really thankful that they did but this is really beautiful it's a mineral spf it's got hyaluronic acid in it allotonin in it and you can wear it alone on your face or as like i did today a primer for the makeup and it's beautiful so i would definitely recommend this sorry i forgot to talk about that before we got into this okay then after that um also um I forgot to mention this too because I just forgot the order I was doing my makeup. But I think after I finished my complexion or my eyeshadow, I went in with this with the Dior lip balm. So this is the Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. And I got the shade 013 and I've really been enjoying this, okay? This is really beautiful. I like the pigmentation that it adds to my lips so i put it right here and you don't really see it too much but i like how it warms up my lips but it also like soothes my lips my lips have been really dry because i've been under the weather and like you know trying to stay hydrated but not doing the best job so my lips have been cracking so i've been reaching for that lip balm for some hydration and it's been really nice and i like that the balm kind of stays around on the lips a little bit it doesn't just quickly sink in and then you know you feel like you have nothing but another product that i just got yesterday from skeepers skeepers used to be called octoly um oh, i recommend this one honestly over the dior so Bobbi Brown came out with some new extra lip tint. So they have seven shades. The shade that I um, that I requested is Bear Punch. And these are so hydrating. So I the reason why I would almost prefer these Bobbi Brown ones over the Dior ones is that they're just a little more hydrating and like a little more silky than Dior. So just to quickly read you what Bobby Brown says, it's a tinted lip balm infused with botanical oils, including olive, jojoba, and avocado. It enhances the lip with hydration and sheer color. So I just got this, like I said, yesterday or the day before. Um, and this one is really nice too, like really, really nice. So I recommend both of these and there's several colors in both. Um, I would say that the Dior is true to it being more of like a balm texture, whereas the Bobbi Brown feels more, it does feel more um, hydrating and like it has a little bit more slip. And I'm assuming it's going to, it, it would be because of the oils in this. So I recommend this one too. Thank you to Skeepers and Bobbi Brown for sending this one over to me, complimentary. Um, but yes, that, they're good. They're good. I was like, okay, Bobbi Brown. The mascara I'm wearing today is Fenty Beauty Hella Thick. Still loving this one, really recommend it. Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain. So I first went in with the shade 26, and let me tell you, this is a dupe for the Fenty Beauty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Breadwinner. I swatched Breadwinner in this shade side by side. 
shades are identical. Now formula is different, but shades are identical. This is $15 and throw on the 30% off and it comes to $10.50. I have a nice little collection of these. These lip stains last so well on the skin or on the lips I should say. Um, I've seen them used on the eyes. They look beautiful on the eyes like Y'all need to pick up one, okay? Y'all went crazy over this shade 73 that I wore last week. I wore it in combination with the Up and Down Town lip liner from Makeup Forever. This is their artist pencil. And I got so many compliments on like, what is that lip combo? But this was another one that I was wearing with that lip combo 73. Um, so today I put in 76. That's what I used for kind of my lip liner. And then I went in with shade 25. These are so pretty. Let me swatch them really quickly for you. So we've got shade 25, which I thought would be really great for the upcoming summer months. And then this is the shade 26 that I said is a dupe for Fenty Beauty. Oh, look at them. And I'll just swatch 73 because we're here. Why not? 73 on its own against my complexion is too cool tone for me to wear. But, you know, like I said, mixing it with a lip liner, honey, beautiful. These are so worth your buy, like a complete hidden gem at Sephora if you're not aware of them, get you one, get you one. And then that's the look. So when I was done, I was like, I just need a, a little more with the bronzer. So I went in with Pat McGrath's bronzer and bronze mahogany. This is my favorite one. Of all the shades that I have, this is my favorite one. This one is sold at Sephora. And I just kind of hit right here, right here and like dusted it along my forehead. And I was like, okay, look, it's complete. Oh, love this bronzer. This is a more neutral tone bronzer and it's just so beautiful. And even though it's quite deep, it really works well against my complexion. Okay, so some other products that I picked up that I didn't show you in my first haul um, I mentioned in my first haul that I did get a Guerlain lipstick. It's my first one. Look at the house teeth case. So cute. So, you know, I'm new to this. I'm finally growing up. So I was like, oh my gosh, when you take the lipstick out, look at that. A mirror just automatically pops up. I was like, this is so neat. You do have to purchase the case separately from the lipstick. Um, and I was like, this is fancy. This is real fancy. It does come with a nice little velvet packaging. So I'll swatch the lipstick that I got. What shade did I get? Ooh, I forgot. I'll just link the shade down below because I forgot the shade that I got and I don't feel like looking it up. So let's swatch the shade. These are shades of pink that I just adore. And I love to wear them in the summer in the springtime, so this this is just my, my kind of shade, like my kind of shade. So very excited to have it. The formula is, um, looks like this formula is more satin. I was trying to go for a matte formula or um, a velvet formula. I didn't succeed this time, but this one looks like it's still gonna be pretty. I mentioned this in my other video, but I did get the Universal Dior Luminizer Palette. Very excited to have this. We'll be using this. I mean, you all have seen this in action. This is so not new, but I'll use it in a video, you know, or a short or something like that. And then I did get a travel size of Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. Let me tell you a little story about this one. So I have like smelled this fragrance multiple times, but I'm like, it's too sweet, it's too sweet. And then I, I just, you know how you just keep thinking about something and you're like, I just feel like I should like it. That's how I felt. So I got this travel size and I just wanna say, I like it. Now, I did read in the comment section that this smells really great mixed with Killian's Princess or Fenty Beauty's um, Parfum since like this love, don't be shy, is supposed to be the scent that Bibi wears a lot or that, you know, like this was her scent. So um, a couple of people said mix it with her fragrance. It smells really great, kind of tones down the sweetness. And then mixing it with Killian's Princess, that's the same thing. I haven't mixed them yet, have I? 
No, I did mix it with Princess and it, it was really pretty. Really, really pretty with Princess. Haven't mixed it with Fenty Beauty's perfume yet, but I do feel like the combination would be really nice. So I have that and um, I don't know if I'll get the large size yet. I'll see how much I wear this mini size or travel size, but I am happy to have it. Okay, and then lastly, deodorant, okay? Both of them are aluminum free. The Sol de Janeiro one, let me tell you, at it to cart. This has been so good against my little underarms here. No sweating, lasts all day long, smells like the Boom Boom Cream, but it's not overbearing and it's like quite complimentary under the eyes, under the eyes, under the armpits. Oh, this smells so good. It um, has not stained my clothes or anything like that. And I picked it up because I saw on TikTok that this is supposed to help um, lighten the darker pigmentation under your armpits. So I don't know if it does that yet because I've only used it for about a week, but I really enjoy it and it's been holding me and like, my armpits are not one to be playing with. So I think this is a really good natural deodorant. Now the one that I am growing, that's growing on me is the Donna Karen one. This is the Cashmere Mist. This is aluminum free and alcohol free. I didn't know that there was a version like that, but there is one. Um, so this is the most expensive deodorant I have ever purchased. And I was so hyped about it because I was like, it's aluminum free. And I've wanted to try this deodorant like for the past five years plus maybe. But I was like, I cannot afford that. I cannot be adding that to my routine. And um, when I saw that they had an aluminum free version, I was like adding it to cart immediately. I have the fragrance, I love it. Um, I've purchased the body um, lotion over the years. Like, I love this scent, okay, okay. I first put this on and I was like, what is this? It, it, it was like, the cashmere scent under my arms initially just did not feel or smell like complimentary under my arms, okay? And I was like, this is so weird. I don't know if I like this. And then I noticed the first day I wore this that my armpits were sweaty. And I was like, no, I ain't been sweating under my armpits in years because the deodorants that I use don't make me sweat. So that threw me off. Then I felt like, am I, you know, am I like musty now because I'm sweating? And the thing is, like, it actually held, holds me all day. So this is my third day wearing it. And I, I did not sweat day two or three. Well, so far in day three. Um, and it, I mean, it holds me. It, it holds me. I think I just had to get used to this scent under my arms. And like today, I'm like, I, I think I like it. So I posted on my stories. I was like, I don't like it. I don't recommend it. I, it just, mm, I don't know. The scent under my arms, I just had to get used to it. And I, I know I'm not even putting this into proper words and I'm just sounding like I'm all over the place. Um, but that's what threw me off. The cashmere scent under my arms, I, I almost felt like it didn't need to be there. And I even yesterday sprayed the fragrance on like, do I not like the fragrance anymore? And I'm like, no, I still love the fragrance. Um, so I do like this. I do like this. Um, I don't know if I would like, I'm gonna say if you wanna try it, try it. Because this has been some people's holy grails. Like when I posted it on Instagram, I had so many people comment and go like, that's my, Either that is their holy grail deodorant, or they were like, I used to wear that all the time years ago. So I'm not gonna say don't try it. Um, I'm gonna say try it, but just know that like, you know, it may it may not work for you. I had someone also comment on my stories and they were like, yeah, I did not like it in my arms and I'm returning it. So as of right now, I like it. I'm gonna keep it. Would I repurchase this? I don't know. Now, would I repurchase this Sol de Janeiro? Absolutely, absolutely yes. And it's funny because this is 32 and this is 16. So Sol de Janeiro is half the price, even before we tack on any type of discount, but yeah. So that's it. I have purchased more things. So we'll just do a third haul. That third haul will be after the savings event is over, but you'll still see those products in action. And I will make another purchase because I, I just that la these last couple of days I just be like searching like, 
what is it that I think I may need? And in all honesty, I'm like, why do you do that, Chelsea? Because you could just probably go to the brand's website and get the same discount. But I don't know. It's just the hype of the savings event. So let me know your thoughts on the products that I used today. If you're interested in any of them, do you have them? Do you suggest them? Do you not like them? You know, leave all of that in the comment section below. And because we're like nearing toward the end, if there are things that you think I should pick up, leave that down in the comment section below because, you know, I don't want no FOMO. I don't want no FOMO Tuesday morning when I wake up. So leave your recommendations down below. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.